Item number SCP-2600-EX Index Third Trout Object Class Safe Explained Special Containment Procedures Any tributaries believed to contain SCP-2600 breeding grounds are to be dynamited immediately. Deceased specimens are to be brought to Research Station 2600-Prime. Specimens of SCP-2600 found alive are to be contained immediately. Personnel are to notify the Site Director immediately if a live specimen is contained. No special containment procedures are needed for SCP-2600-EX at this time. Description SCP-2600-EX is an anomalous species of trout located in Rejected. The trout are psychologically identical to speckled trout, but have shaggy white fur covering 90% of their bodies. It is not known what purpose this fur serves, but it is hypothesized that the trout have much lower body temperature than normal speckled trout. No specimen of SCP-2600-EX have been discovered alive to date, and it is believed that their spawning ground is in a location not normally inhabited by speckled trout such as an underground reservoir. All specimens of SCP-2600-EX currently in the Foundation's possession were deceased upon discovery. SCP-2600-EX is believed to have the ability to transfer its fur to normal speckled trout via unknown means. Normal speckled trout tagged with Foundation micro-radio beacons have turned up bearing SCP-2600-EX's distinctive fur. The following log contains notes made by SCP-2600-EX's research director, James Dobson. It is currently believed that director Dobson was influenced by the folklore and culture that he experienced growing up in the area he was researching. This is the probable cause of the highly unprofessional and dishonest way he behaved during his tenure as SCP-2600-EX's research director. January 15th, 1919 Due to my history with the area and knowledge of lore surrounding it, I have been selected as SCP-2600's research director. Words do not do justice to the excitement I feel. Ever since I was a boy, I have dreamed of catching the furred trout. And now, I am in charge of the world's most advanced lab, completely dedicated to it. I've hand-picked the personnel that are going to work for me. They all have the youth and zeal to get the job done. February 2nd, 1919. Research station has been finished. All of my staff tell me of their excitement. As the primary research director, I have been allotted my own office. I put a stuffed furred trout over my door. Although it may be fake, my staff seemed to find it amusing. April 3rd, 1919. A real breakthrough. Lawrence was out in the field today, checking some of the local waterways when he found a deceased instance of SCP-2600. I've ordered greater exploration of the area Lawrence found it at. Gave Lawrence a little bonus while I was at it. I've got research on top priority doing tests on it. We'll have our data soon. And to think, I was starting to get discouraged. June 21st, 1919. Nothing. Just a whole lot of nothing. That's all we got from the tests. No major differences, no anomalous properties. Just a trout with fur, and right before our annual review. I will have to come up with a solution, quickly. August 8th, 1919. I can't believe I did it. But I had to. We're just so close to achieving a breakthrough. I couldn't have let them take my team apart. I had Byrne draw up some speculative research. But it's okay. The review period is over. If we can find a real one, I can make my new report confirming our hypothesis to add to the main document. I have faith that we will be okay. November 1st, 1919. Nothing. Still nothing. None of our results gave us any new data. It's like we've been sitting on our hands for months. We had nothing for the document. So, I had to tell staff that we had results that confirmed them, and added it to the report. 
but we'll get real results soon. I can feel it in my gut. January 3rd, 1920. My nightmare has come true. Our records are being audited. They are going to go through all of our papers. They are going to see what's different. No, I have research working triple overtime to get anything. All my agents are in the field looking for the possible spawn points I mapped in the document. We can't fail now. I just can't. February 17th, 1920. I've ordered agents to start dynamiting the places I marked as spawn points. They can't use it against me if I put it out of commission. I can explain it. I'll say they got dangerous. It'll work. I'll be okay, be okay, be okay. I need to be okay. March 3rd, 1920. I think it's over. I'm sitting in this tiny office. They have the records. I know that any day now I'm going to get that call. And I'll sit in a tiny cell. And they'll ask me about my research. Blast, I can't do it anymore. I'm downing patent medicine in bulk. My staff knows the truth of what I've been up to. I think everyone hates me. I'm going to lose everything I've been working to. I didn't do anything to hurt anyone. I just wanted truth. Notice to all personnel. Director Dobson has been relieved of his position. Our investigation found a ring of researchers working with the director, falsifying research documents and manipulating data in order to justify further research. As of now, our data shows SCP-2600 is nothing more than a fungal infection. It has been designated. Explained. You will all be receiving relocation notices to projects more worthy of your time. 059.